with Carson Vicroy. It's now 11 at 16. This rain slowly mm. clearing out of our area, Carson. Yeah, and it's going to take a little while longer, Cynthia. We've got probably five, maybe 10 more hours, just to, depending on where you are. Let's go ahead and put this in motion for you. And once again, lots of shower and thunderstorm activity across the area, especially along and to the east of Highway 69. That is where the heaviest rain is following at this point. And we'll give you a more in-depth look with the Shreveport radar real quick. And as you can see right there, yeah, Pretty decent shot of rain, but our western county is not dealing with much right now. Some of the heaviest rain is actually falling in deep east Texas right now. You can actually see in Nacogdoches County some heavy rain from Cushing over to Garrison, generally to the south of Mount Enterprise in Russ County. And near Toledo Bend also picking up some uh, moderate pockets of rain at times as this shower continues to push into Louisiana. But other than that, you can see up to the north near Smith County, not a lot happening. And as we look at that Tyler Tower cam right there, I can put it up on your screen real quick. Yeah, I mean, outside it looks like it's raining, but it really isn't raining very much. It's very light at this point, but regardless of where you are across the area, you do need to be very careful because while it may not be raining for everybody, those roads are wet. Let me go ahead and show you what's going on on Futurecast. And as I said before, throughout the afternoon, we're going to be dealing with on and off widespread rain. So if you have those outdoor activities, unfortunately, if it were me, I would move them indoors because chances are you are going to get rained on this afternoon. We'll advance this into the future. Two o'clock again, it's those areas along into the east of Highway 69 that are seeing the heavier pockets of rain. Western counties, don't get me wrong, you will continue to see a little more rain today. It's just not going to be as much as what we're seeing out to our east. By three o'clock, still seeing the rain again. Be careful on those roadways because those roadways are slick as a result of that rain. In deep East Texas seeing some heavier rain at five o'clock, maybe a couple rumbles of thunder then, and then most of this rain does start to shift off to the north and to the east. And then we've got a clearing trend at seven o'clock tomorrow morning, especially for our southwestern counties there. More clouds on the way throughout the day tomorrow, and I don't really think we're going to see those clearing skies until we get into your Friday. Futurecast rain amounts looking like an additional inch, maybe a little more in deep east Texas when all is said and done. And again, this isn't an overly uh, an overly rainy event, but this is going to provide some pretty decent rainfall for us. Temperatures in the 40s and the 50s for the most part, and that's the theme for the rest of the afternoon. I only think we get up to 51 today. We'll be at 53 tomorrow. Mostly sunny skies Friday through next Tuesday. With overnight lows, I mean, not too hard to argue with there. 30s expected. Deep East Texas, similar story. 50s, 60s for highs, 30s for lows. Cynthia? Thanks, Carson.